that was interesting to say the least um it's picking up it's picking up third episode in great episode love the ending um as i said their chemistry on screen is off the chain and it's something that i can see the writers working with um because i actually started to change my mind from my theory because because of what he just did by offering her up like that but then he came in and rescued her so now we're back on track the theory is back on i think these two are gonna fall for each other reason being why i'm saying that and i've said this before is um is that um hold on let me supposed to do anyways i just cut it off anyways um yeah so it's crazy how the story progression is going right now because i don't know if freddie and tommy is going to end up working together what was the result of that situation uh um you know what i'm saying what's going to happen from that is he still freddie's still going to stay what is tommy planning to do to him um i don't know i don't know um it was crazy how he got in the good graces of um what's his name billy kimber so that's pretty interesting how he's just i mean this guy's he's making moves and i i kind of have an idea of where i think to, what tommy wants to do i think he's just like even the deal that he made with billy kimber i think he's trying to get close to billy to see how things work and then he's probably going to take him out because he now realizes that hey i'm smarter than this guy if this guy can have a legitimate business and i can do all these things without him knowing and it's obvious tommy is smarter than billy no doubt about it billy's just he's just a he's just a gangster you know what i'm saying like a gangster that's just all about the the hoopla and the 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 killing and the power and stuff like that is not really one to be feared as much as a gangster who's really smart that stays out of the picture if you can draw an example from um the story not necessarily the story it's a real life story actually of the american gangster um stayed in the in in the shadows for so long and nobody knew who exactly was running the organization you know what i'm saying um but he made the mistake of wearing the chinchilla coat to the to the fight and that's how they knew that oh this is the dude that is in charge and ended up having to you know that is downfall after that because now the cops knew who to focus on so a lot of times it's you know what i'm saying it's not all about because he was ruthless the american gangster dude was ruthless okay behind the scenes but he didn't sh he didn't you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't showy. See, person like Billy Kimber, he's, he's very showy. He has to show his power. He feels like he needs to show power. With Tommy, Tommy doesn't need. He has that quiet power. He has that quiet respect. And that's what um, me as a person, I fear people who are sneaky like that. And especially if they're smart about it. And that's the reason why a lot of things happen in, in real life nowadays where you say how do people like serial rapists or serial killers how do they get away with this stuff for so long it's because they're they're ruthless and they're smart okay alongside of that um they're also psychopathic and sociopathic and all of this other stuff but at the same time at the root of it all you can't deny the fact that they're very smart individuals they have that brain power they think of things that you would wouldn't think of to keep the, their actions and eventually they make mistakes you get what i'm saying because nobody is without blemish but in in all reality that's the worst type of criminals the smart ones <laughs> trust me on it you know what i'm saying the, 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 those are the worst type of criminals the one that are really smart the dudes that get locked up every two seconds like <laughs> you know they're not to be feared you know so I mean, in the show, I love the story progression so far, man. Aunt Paul. I mean, right now, I think even though she doesn't get a lot of screen time, obviously, she's the most gangster of, of all of them. You know what I'm saying? Of all the Shelby, she's the most gangster right now. She, um, I like how she moves. 
in the shadows. You know what I'm saying? She moves in the shadows. She's tried to negotiate and to get Freddy out of town. Freddy wasn't having it still. I don't know why he went there. Um, he's like, oh, I love her. I'm like, dude, if you love her, get her the hell out of town. If that's your reasoning. You get what I'm saying? But you saying that you love someone, but you won't take them out of danger to go somewhere else where you can live with her, be with her, and um, get out of town. You're not being chased and all of this other stuff. Like, Ada doesn't want to be a part of that. You know, so you have to think about her. You got to think about your unborn child, but you're only thinking about yourself. And that's why you decided to stay. I'm just saying. Um, so you have so many things going on right now. I didn't get to see much of the inspector. This episode is more of like him trying to figure out what's going on. Why did, um, why did she kill the, the, the IRA guy? And her having blood on her hands now. But she got over that shit real quick, ain't it? <laughs> you know? That was kind of fast. You know? I don't like when when, when stuff like that happens in shows. Because it kind of make it seem like it wasn't that big a deal. Even though it was. Because she did go through. They did show that she was kind of experiencing a little bit of PTSD because of that. Um, but, you know, hopefully something... That continues maybe for a few more episodes and stuff. Because that was kind of like just one night. Like, <laughs> you know, like you kill somebody for the first time. It takes you a night to get over that. I mean, that that's a bit fast. You know, that was a bit too fast. So I'm really thoroughly enjoying this, to say the least. Uh, I'm glad that I'm watching this series. So those of you who are enjoying it with me, um, thanks for watching as always and this is your boy man we out here we enjoying this peaky blinders episode was awesome nice story progression now thank you guys for watching if it's the first time watching this um make sure to go ahead and check out the full reaction if you have not seen it and also leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think what is about to happen my growing theory is that i think that um Tommy and this girl is going to fall for each other and she's going to probably become a double agent. That's my growing theory right now. It's not, nothing is set in stone. Um, but you know, that's how it is. That's, that's the only thing that I can think of right now to say as a prediction, um, because it's a very quite developing story. The whole thing that happened, him coming in to rescue her from, um, Billy Kimber was, um, he does have a conscience. So Tommy's not overall and entirely, he, he's not a monster. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know that from episode one when he, you know, he had a choice to kill, kill his friend or not. And he chose not to, you know, he could have killed him to, to satisfy the Italians, but he didn't. So that goes to show you that he's not entirely a monster. He's not just running a mob out here. You know, he's, he's, he thinks about other people and other things. So I'm glad to say that um, it's been awesome. It's been awesome so far. So leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think of this episode, episode three of Peaky Blinders. And I'll see you guys on the next one. You already know who it is. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.